Ormiston House in East Belfast was on the at-risk register when Peter Boyle and Kira Denver bought it in 2015. It was overrun with both dry and wet rot and had been vandalised. Before it fell into disrepair it had been used as offices. Strip lighting had been screwed into the ornate plasterwork in the ceilings and grand rooms had been turned into toilets. For three years, Kira spent every waking moment on its restoration. The roof was rebuilt using the original tiles where possible. Windows were restored rather than replaced. Missing ironmongery was cast using original methods. Ormiston House is now a comfortable family home, reflecting its rich history. When we first came, it was all boarded up. Oh, but I mean, actually, by the time we bought it, we had not seen it uh, by a part inside, apart from a torch. The first thing we did on the first day was on pull all the boards off the windows. That was an exciting. That was really day. exciting, um, but it was that, nice to see light come into the house and to see out the windows for the first and time. And that's when the, the you know that's when the, the scale of the deterioration really came. In. And funny, the state or the civil servants who gave us the keys said to me, "I suppose you've got it." Uh, and I, with all intentions, said no. I looked at him like he was mad. I thought we were going to try and salvage as much. But we ended up gutting it. I mean, we lost yeah, 90% yeah. of the internal fabric of the building. Mm -hmm. um, so for us, our next project really was to see what we could salvage. And literally, if there was a tiniest thing we could salvage, it was taken out meticulously, stored meticulously, and put back in some way into the house. Rather than have a contractor on a fixed price who might have wanted to go in and be a bit more brutal with the place, we set up our own construction company and we put our own people in. And then I was here pretty much every day for two and a half years. In a sense that gave us more control and more time. So if something was more tedious, we were prepared to go down that route, whereas a contractor might not be. I mean, everybody has an urge to fix things. Be some people's project might be an instrument or a bicycle or a car. Or it's kind of, I don't know what causes that. Uh, to fix an old thing seems to be in everybody. So we're lucky that we were able to but take on and do such a large project. I think both of us have admired houses that are derelict and always wished we could have done something like this. So to have had this opportunity has just been fantastic. Yeah. For us, we lived locally and a lot of the people who lived locally have um, some connection to this house. And um, I think it's just, we poured our hearts into it, gave yeah. absolutely everything we could and um, we're as true to the house as we possibly could be.